It is Friday, September 11th, 2020, and this is your China Update. We have four pieces of information to cover today, including floods hit northeast China amid typhoon-triggered downpours. Next, courtesy of Cakeson Global, China's farmers hoard wheat and wager that shortages will push prices even higher. Also, courtesy of Yahoo, China claims important breakthrough in space mission shrouded in mystery. We also have some new photos. Let's hop into it. And it's been a few days since we checked in on the water level at the Three Gorges Dam. The current water level is 154.89 meters. The current outflow is 18,400 cubic meters per second. So it looks like the dam was able to withstand this year's floods. And I found the following tweet interesting and thought I would share it. Trend, while the world is too focused on technology stocks, cryptos, precious metals, etc., here's what has been going on in wheat markets. Look at the wheat imports by China from the USA, a staggering 2,335% increase from last year. And this comes courtesy of China.org. Floods hit northeast China amid typhoon-triggered downpours. Floods have stricken northeast China as typhoon-induced rainfall lashed the region, according to the Ministry of Water Resources on Tuesday. A total of 23 rivers have seen floods running above the warning level, among which five saw water levels breach the guaranteed level. There may be more floods, as torrential rains are expected in parts of Liaoning, Jilin, and Heilongjiang over the next three days. Vice Minister of Water Resources Ye Yanchun on Tuesday urged efforts to step up flood control in affected rivers. And our next article is courtesy of Caixian Global. China's farmers hoard wheat and wager that shortages will push prices even higher. And this is a premium article, so only the first couple of paragraphs are available. China's farmers are keeping more of their wheat harvest this year, rather than selling to the government and the market, as they expect prices to rise and want to hold on to their stocks in case of shortages. Farmers in the country's main wheat growing regions sold 49.3 million tons of their crop for commercial use and to state reserves as of August 31st, 20% less than in the same period last year according to government data. Within that total, sales to the National Food and Strategic Reserves Administration, which stockpiles and manages the country's strategic food reserves, sank by almost 70% to 6.2 million tons. And that's all the information this article provides without unlocking premium features. But it did a pretty good job of summarizing what some farmers in China are thinking, stockpiling today's harvest hoping for a better price tomorrow. Thank you for watching this video. If you're finding it informative, please consider giving the channel a subscribe. And this comes courtesy of Yahoo News. China claims important breakthrough in space mission shrouded in mystery. Since China claims success in the secretive launch of an experimental spacecraft, experts have been pondering over what it could be and what it did in space. The spacecraft, mounted on a Long March 2F rocket, was launched from the Yiquan Satellite Launch Center in northern China on September 4th and safely returned to Earth after two days in orbit. The successful flight marked the country's important breakthrough in reusable spacecraft research and is expected to offer convenient and low-cost round-trip transport for the peaceful use of space, state-run Xinhua News Agency said on September 6 in a brief report. But unlike recent Chinese high-profile space missions, very few details have emerged about the vehicle and no visuals have been released. Chinese authorities have been tight-lipped about the nature of the short-duration excursion 
and what technologies were tested. The exact launch and landing times were not revealed, nor was the landing site, although it is thought to be the Taklakmakan Desert, which is in northwest China. There are many firsts in this launch. The spacecraft is new. The launch method is also different. That's why we need to make sure there is extra security, a military source told the South China Morning Post. An official memo circulating on social media also warned staff and visitors to the launch site not to film the liftoff or discuss it online, according to the South China Morning Post. The launch of the vehicle may have come as a surprise. There was no official announcement prior to the launch, but China has been working on such technology for the past decade. Three years ago, China said it would launch a space vessel in 2020 that will fly into the sky like an aircraft and be reusable. A reusable spacecraft, as the name implies, can undertake multiple trips to space thereby potentially lowering the overall cost of launch activity. A traditional one-off spacecraft costing tens of millions of dollars is practically rendered useless after a single mission. The experimental vessel reached an altitude of about 350 kilometers, which is in line with China's previous crewed flights. The spacecraft also released an unknown object into the orbit before returning to Earth. Jonathan McDowell, an astronomer at Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, says the aim of the mission was likely to test out the vehicle's systems, such as power, temperature, and stability, and prove it could re-enter and land correctly. Once the testing is complete, such a vehicle could be used to launch and repair satellites, survey the Earth, as well as take astronauts and goods to and from orbit, possibly to a planned future Chinese space station. The lack of publicity has given rise to speculation that the Chinese spacecraft could also possibly have some military use. The secrecy is just because it's a military project as McDowell who has been closely following the mission. There is little distinction between China's civilian and military space programs, which fuels suspicions about Beijing's space ambitions. It is reasonable to assume that what's being tested has some military applications, probably new satellite equipment and spying technologies, notes Blinton Bowen, a space policy academic at the University of Leicester. China's state-run outlet, Global Times, citing observers, did say that the country should have the capability to strike anywhere on Earth within a half an hour, just as the United States X-37B does. And our last piece of information is a series of interesting tweets. And I think that's a good place to wrap up today's video. I hope that you found it informative and check back soon for more content.